Hello and welcome to Busby Furniture. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to make one of these. This is a pleated silk panel or a fabric panel that goes in the door of a cabinet, like an antique cabinet, like this. First of all, we're going to need to cut your silk, or if you want to use a material, into some strips. These strips are 60mm wide because I'm going to be using a 1 inch pleat. It's quite a large pleat generally for these sort of things. Normally they're half inch or three quarters of an inch, but these are, are big enough panels to, to cover the inch uh, distance between the pleats. Yeah, I've got my piece. I'm using a metal straight edge here, just clamped in the vise. What I'm doing is just going to roll it over about half an inch all the way across. Down the length. That'll give me a nice straight pleat. Just rolled over. So the first piece I'm going to take and put on the back. And we're just going to use a couple of pieces of masking tape to hold it in place here, top and bottom and the middle. Turning over and doing the same, tack it onto the material and pull it tight. When you're doing the outside corners, make sure you pull at an angle. Uh, so that it pulls top and bottom and inwards at the same time. Next I'm just going to lay out the pieces roughly on the surface uh, to see the rough position and how many actual pleats I'm going to use. Just line them up on the board. The first one we're going to put about a half inch away from the edge and then using a little piece of wood the same width as the pleats we'll just use that as an accurate measurement for each one as we go. Just work your way along the board exactly the same. And just turn the board around and do exactly the same from the other side. Here you can see from a different angle just putting one staple in right in the middle and this secures the front edge of the pleat you're putting on and the back edge of the previous pleat. You want to put a little bit of tension on the pleat that you're pulling forward, but don't overdo it. And now just secure the last piece of material in again with another piece of tape.
Then with a nice sharp pair of scissors just trim off the excess at the top and the bottom of the panel. And there we have the face side of the pleated panel. So now we need to put a back on the panel. Just going to use a plain piece of silk for this. It's already been cut about half an inch bigger than the panel itself. We're literally just going to put it on and pin it around the edge from top to bottom, left to right. Trim any excess pieces you've got left on the edge so you don't have any big lumps underneath the edge of the fabric when it goes into the panel. And all we've got left to do is just to trim up and we're all done. So here you see the cabinet all finished with the panels in place. So this is a cabinet that I've made from scratch. It's a copy of a cabinet that the customer already had. So he's now got a pair. And here you see it all finished. Please like and subscribe for more videos and look forward to seeing you next time.